name isn't Michael. It's Danny. My parents are Arthur and Annie Pope. They're in trouble with the FBI for blowing up the Napalm Laboratory in 1971. I've been doing this since I was two. River Phoenix has been described as one of the most natural actors in Hollywood, as evidenced in films like Stand By Me or Running On Empty Here. Indeed, the director of this movie about a radical family hiding out in the midst of middle America, Sidney Lumet, says the young actor is incapable of playing a false note. That natural quality was easier in Lamette's story of a family constantly on the move since River's own background involved a lot of movement. Uh, I, I met with him in New York and asked about that life. Yeah, I've, I've been in constant motion basically since I was, uh, since I was born. <laughs> that has an effect on the way people deal with other people, I've always noticed. In fact, I've always rather envied uh, people that moved around, people that were in army families or something, yeah. they seem to be able to fall into any group of people and know how to get along. Yeah, I, I know a few Navy brats myself, and uh, it's amazing how, how opposite they are from, uh, from you know, their fathers, you know, because they've moved around so much, they've had a chance to, you know, uh, you adapt, I think, I think that's a big part of it, and, uh, and you become, uh, I guess, versatile, which is really nice. In your own life, were there moments where you had to leave one place, you hadn't been there that long, but you'd formed a couple of attachments, but it's time to move on? How'd you handle that? Did you not let yourself get too attached? I think that is a big part of it. Uh, you don't get uh, too involved. Uh, you kind of stay on the surface of things as far as relationships. And, and you're also ready to move at any point, whether you're, uh, you know, knocked out of the house because there's too many kids and the landlord can't handle it or it's because financial reasons or or it's just time to move on whatever it is it's nice though having the, the family unit and, and the support that that's the flip side i suppose uh correct me if i'm wrong if you have to keep things fairly near the surface to protect yourself from getting too hurt mm -hmm. you do have to have something that's deeper and, and that would tend to be more than the average person i suppose than the family yeah, it is. It is. I think the family and uh, and yourself. You know, I, I mean, mm. in many ways, you rely on uh, your imagination and 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 you dig deeper into your mind um, for for company and for security. And uh, it, I think it 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 uh, helped me creatively as far as uh, uh, music goes, as far as playing guitar. I would go into a room and play for hours and, and really get involved in this little fantasy world of music and the images it created in my mind and, I, and that sparked a lot for me. In Running on Empty, music is very important to your character. Yeah. And obviously you had no problem with that. What about the type of music? Um, I, I enjoy classical, I enjoy a lot of different music, uh, but I, I'm more into the um, I like uh, uh, rock and progressive rock and uh, and fusion and, and jazz. But River, <laughs> thank you for giving us your time. Hey, thank you. I, I love I love PBS and the show. I just thought I'd say that. It's great. Thank you. Nice meeting you. With River Phoenix in New York. I'm Patrick Stoner.